Commission flexibility. A lot of you joined because you like the flexibility that we allow our agents for commission. But I want to make sure everybody understands our rules because sometimes when I get to this point in the recruiting seminar, maybe they've, they've glossed over a little bit. Um, when you're working with buyers, you can give back whatever cash back you want. If you want to give your buyer 2% or 2.5% back or all the commission, that's fine. I just need my 345 or my 495. Now, I wouldn't make a habit of giving away all your commission. That's probably going to not lead to a lucrative career. But you can cut whatever deal you want to that agent or to that, real, that client. What I do restrict is what you can advertise. You cannot advertise more than 1% cash back. The reason being, if you send a bunch of advertisements around town, you'll give 2% cash back. Now, everybody sees that and it hurts our reputation. So whatever you want to do person to person is fine. Now, on the listings, you have a couple rules. One, you have to give out at least 2.5% in bright. I know that some people are going below that out there. I'm going to be the last person going to that party. We want to try to protect buyer agency as long as we can. We do not allow for exceptions for this. It is a slippery slope. I don't care if it's a foreclosure or a short sale. You figure it out that you're giving out 2.5%. You take what's left if you want that business. You must give out 2.5% in bright. That is a company rule. The second uh, rule we have is this. Well, not really a rule. You can do a listing for whatever commission you want. If it's your mom or your sister or your best friend, you want to do it for zero and give out 2.5%, you can do it for 2.5%. That's fine. I just need my 345 and or 495. Now, if it's your next door neighbor and you're like, look, I want this listing because it's next door and I cannot imagine anybody else listening at home and they're going to buy an $800,000 house and I want, them to, I want to be the realtor on that, you can lower the commission to whatever you want. Now, what you can't do is advertise anything less than 4.5%. And the reason we do that, again, is reputation. If you send a million flyers around town saying, I'll let you own for 1%, that hurts Samson's reputation all over, and all other agents have to try to adhere to that. So no, no advertising less than 4.5%, but you can do whatever deal you want at the table to get that deal done. A couple other commission splits I didn't mention. On rentals. When you're the tenant rep, you pay $0.00. And zero cents. There's no $3.45. You keep to keep all of your money. On rental listings, no $3.45 fee, but you pay a 7.5% of one month's rent, or $75 per $1,000 of the one month's rent. So if you have a $1,000 rental, $75 admin fee, you keep whatever's left. If you have a $2,000 rental, $150 admin fee, you keep whatever else you want to charge from there. So small admin fee on the rentals. On commission, on commission, on commercials, we have a 90-10 split. So 90% to you, 10% to us. The real reason it's not 100% is we can't really get any title work on those, right? A lot of them are leases, a lot of them are whatever it is, but even the purchases, a lot of times, we, we don't get in on those. So the commercial, it's a 90-10 split. If you have issues with that, obviously, you could take it up with us, but that is the set standard for the company.